So we're at our fly rod test and we've been casting a bunch, we've been fishing a bunch, but uh, we had an idea for, for another component to the test that we thought would be really fun. And that's a blind casting test. So what we did is um, we took a selection of some of the high end rods that are like $900, $1,000. And then we took a selection of some of the, the better budget rods that are only like 200, 300 bucks. And we put masking tape over the logos uh, so you couldn't see what rod it was. And then we had um, members of the test crew stand off to the side and we would just blindly pass them rods uh, and just have them start casting. So this test was such an eye opener. <laughs> I mean, if you ever have, if you ever go to a fishing camp with a bunch of buddies and you got rods of different, you know, some high end rods and some lower rods among you, try this. You just see what happens to you when you don't know what you're casting. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's one thing like everybody's got brand loyalty or, you know, we've been casting these rods all weekend long and, and we had our favorites and, you know, um, you know, we had an idea of the rods we liked, but this like just takes bias out of the equation entirely. That was one of the most interesting things is that, as you say, we've been casting these all this, all this time and we've been fishing with them. I thought for sure <laughs> that I would be able to tell which 100%. rod was writ, yeah. which, because we, you know, we had kind of chosen our favorite rods yeah, at yeah. that point. And it's just, it's, it's crazy what happens when you take that bias out. Yeah, so I gave you a $900 fly fishing rod and you started casting it. Yeah, I was like, this is nice, you know, yeah. And all right, hand me the next one. And the next rod I gave you was $700 less. It was a $200 fly rod. Yeah. And what'd you think of that one? I cast it probably twice, and I said, oh my God, this one's so much better. <laughs> I don't know if I thought it was the more expensive rod. I, I, I don't think that really entered my mind. Yeah. I just, it just felt better to me. Yeah. And when I, handed, when I said, oh my God, this one is better, like the whole crew was like, you know, couldn't cracking up. It. They couldn't believe it. Like I had chosen the $200 rod over, over the $1,000 rod. And this wound up being really valuable because like, this started just kind of as a, a fun little thing to do with all these rods, because when else do you have 16 of the best fly rods out to just do whatever the hell you want with them? But once we were finished, it was really eye-opening and it, it became very valuable to, to the test because we had our winners. We had our 100% sure. all the editors were agreement, this is the best overall rod and this is the best value rod. For sure, and I, I think the value rod was especially cemented. Yeah. And of course, I mean, one of the reasons why we were doing this test is we, we sort of wanted to answer the question of, do you have to spend $800 or $1,000 to get really good performance? Yeah. And this test, I mean, just answered as unequivocally as it can be answered. You do not have to spend that much money to get really good performance. You know, to be clear, like these high-end rods that are 900 bucks or 1000 they're incredible. Yeah. Like they yeah. can just rocket out line and they have control, they're light, they, they feel great. And if you're a hardcore fly angler and you want to invest in the best, like there's a reason these rods are, are as expensive as they are and, and they're really good. But if you just want the most bang for your buck, these lower end rods are yeah. fantastic. That's a really good point because we should be clear that on average, the high-end rods are significantly better yeah. than the low-end rods. They you know, can, when you take the whole, when you when you when you take all of them into account. If yeah. you if you take the average high-end rod and the average low-end rod, the high-end rod is better. There's no question about it. But there were two low-end rods that I would have never guessed in a million years would hang with those other rods, Incredible. and they absolutely hung with those yeah. other rods. So I guess what we're saying is. You can't just pick up any low-end rod and expect great performance out of it. That's, that's the one side of the coin. But the other side of the coin is there are some low-end rods out there, and we should just name names. The Orvis Clearwater was absolutely mind-blowing for 220 bucks, is it? 200 and some change, yeah. yeah. It, and, yeah. The Orvis Clearwater outperformed rods that cost five times yes. as much as that does. Yes. And um, it hung with the very, very yeah. best. Our top picks, it, it was right there. Yeah. Now, I mean, I would say that um, 
I was kind of concentrating more on performance than, than feel. Yeah. And I think if I had paid more attention to feel, I, I think ultimately the high-end rods would have topped even the, the top, the top For performing sure. budget rod. But you get a lot out of a, out of a 200. Yeah. I mean, performance-wise, it was right there. I mean, right there. You, yeah. I could, you could cast consistent, tight loops, and you could shoot them just as far as you could shoot them with the highest price rods. And then I also uh, backed up and wanted to get a feel of how much control could you make a shorter cast and really have control of the loop and really have control of your accuracy and the clear water was right there with that right there and the other rod that we that that hung with them maybe not quite as much was um the moonshine, the moonshine vesper, vesper uh was a great rod um and that one cost 500 dollars, so half the price as, as some of these flagship rods but again super smooth um Great accuracy, great feel, great control, and you know, at that price, you can get two of those rods yeah, for the exactly. cost of, exactly. of one of the high-end rods. Get a so. five weight and a seven weight for throwing streamers. I mean, for for, for anybody who doesn't want to spend eight hundred thousand bucks, you're not locked out, not in the least. There there are a couple of rods, and we just named a couple that um, somewhere between two hundred and five hundred bucks, you can get one heck of a rod. Yeah, if nothing else, uh, next time you're at fish camp with your buddies and you've got a whole bunch of rods out, uh, you should give this blind casting test a try because it's a lot of fun and it's pretty, pretty telling.